Fact of the day. Hi, hello. Um, so, quick teach story. Oh, before I go into it, just want to say, if you are, I know a lot of pupils say, oh, I really remember this teacher, this teacher was amazing, this teacher was amazing. The reverse is also true. So, so many teachers have got pupils that are favourite pupils. Let's, let's just put it out there right now. Teachers have got favourites. And there are certain pupils that always stick in people's minds. So, at one of my first schools, I'm not going to name the school, so that would be awkward, but at one of my first schools, um, there was a lad with who was on the autistic spectrum. And he was high functioning, and he was able to just memorise train timetables, bus timetables, transport timetables, okay? When he found out, because I used to um, travel a lot around the country to go and see friends at weekends, when he found us out, he would stay behind on Friday, and he'd basically just plan my journey for me. I was absolutely amazing. So he'd say to me, way off to, I'd say, I'm going to go out to Leicester this weekend. He'd say, right, um, you go to Three Bridges, make sure you catch this time train. It takes this long to get to Leicester. Well, to get into London, then you need to change and get this one and then get this one, okay? If this lad, if you ever see this, you literally, you made me so happy. I used to love our conversations on a Friday after period eight. Um, literally amazing. And that's something I'll never, ever forget. So thank you very much for that. That's that. Next, so where was I? Oh yeah, the actual fact today. So the actual fact today is this. Oh yeah, that's it. So there's a new way for them, for people to be able to detect um, autism. So what they do is they look at the brain of a baby, three month old, and they look at the brain of the baby when it's 12 months old. And this is for people who have a high risk of um, developing autism, which means that they have brothers or sisters, they've got siblings who have autism. So they look at the three month old baby's brain, they look at the 12 month old baby brain and by comparing them, they can give to a high degree of accuracy an estimation of whether or not, um, whether or not that baby will develop auti autism, which is just an amazing thing to be able to do at such a young age because then obviously you can put things in place to, to help them, to help the families, to help the, the child then be able to um, function uh, um, better for them. Uh, so that's it. If you're a pupil, remember, teachers would have loved you. At least one teacher that you had would have loved you. I'm not sure if they all did, because I know some of the pupils that I used to teach. <sighs> no, I loved you all joking. Okay, that's it for me. Goodbye. Take care. Have a great evening. Love you. Bye.